Okay, so we're going to get to go ahead and take a look at some advanced kind of 2D drawings. You don't need to know this right off the bat. So if you're just trying to get to 3D modeling in Autodesk Inventor, um, maybe skip this video and come back to it later. Um, so let's just go ahead though. If you know this stuff though, once you get into a place where like your, your drawings are acting weird, you know, you notice your 2D drawing just isn't doing what you think it should do, especially when you're dimensioning, you're going to need to come back and take a look at this video. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go to a uh, new part. So we get this new part file and we're going to just like usual 2D sketch, click on a plane. And now we're back in our 2D sketch mode. Okay. All right. So let's do a couple of things here. The text text is, is pretty useful in a, uh, in Autodesk Inventor, of course, as it is everywhere. So basically we can do this text. Um, there are a couple weird things with a text editor. So let's say, uh, happy. All right. We close good and click. Okay. All right. So there's our, there's our initial text, right? Okay. And it, <laughs> as is the text is in Autodesk Inventor, it came out wacky, right? So we're going to right click, go OK. All right, then we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to go back in. OK, so uh, whoops. Right click OK to get out of the file. So notice that I can't go back in and edit it with the text when I'm still in the text uh, tool. OK, so the text tool in Autodesk Inventor is kind of primitive. So I can double click it. Now here's what's weird though. OK, let's say that I want to change the size of it to say this size right now. It looks like I only have some options. You can actually type in anything you want here, okay? Uh, so you could say uh, point, you know, point 0.3, right? Okay, now what happened? So nothing happened, right? So I typed in this new size, nothing happens. That's because I didn't highlight. So if I double click, I have to go in and actually select the letters that I want to apply any changes to, and then I can go ahead and apply. So I can go ahead and change it and apply, all right? Okay, let's go ahead and double click it again. I can also uh, highlight, I can do a bunch of different stuff in here, right? Like I can, uh, you know, just, just your basic text editing. Um, the one thing um, that I think people uh, often struggle with on here is just what I've talked about there. So um, so basically is, uh, is that size thing where you, you have to remember to highlight the, the text before you actually edit it. Okay, probably the more useful thing to do though is to actually apply text to a line. So a lot of times you don't really just want just random text, right? So let's say that we have an arc and let's say we wanna apply some text to a line. Okay, so we say geometry text and we're basically just gonna select the line first. So I click geometry text, I click, click the line we want it on, right? And basically I'm just gonna go ahead and type in happy, right? Okay, now we do have to initially um, click okay. All right, and notice we get this start angle. Okay, now we can double click that again. All right, we can highlight it and we can change the degree, right? So we can say we want it starting at 10 degrees. Click OK. And notice that it jumps around. So if this is the arc, you know, it just jumped 10 degrees on a circle that had that same arc. Okay, so you can go ahead and experiment with that. This, this is probably the, the, you know, most useful way to use text. All right, next one. Let's go ahead and we're going to go to... Um, we're going to go ahead and make a um, a rectangle. A lot of times, um, a lot of times, what we have here is that if we create a rectangle or some complicated shape, a lot of times it's easiest to create it as a series of overlapping shapes. So let's say I want to make this kind of complex shape that's going to have this, you know, open like an open shape with some, you know, these squares coming out of it. Well, a lot of times it's easy to draw lines and then take them out. So that's the trim tool. Okay, so I made rectangles here. And I go in and it highlights everywhere where I'm going to take things out. All right. Now I suggest that you get some kind of some basic dimensions down first, but I wouldn't do much dimensioning first because what can happen is it can produce errors. Okay. So if you start to dimension off things and then try to delete those lines, it will give you errors. So if you start to get errors while you're, while you're trimming, go ahead and delete some of the dimensions. All right. Also, you'll notice, do you see the, how we see tons and tons and tons of these uh, constraints? That's new in 2017. That didn't used to be there. Uh, when, I, when I highlight, notice how it shows me all the constraints that are here. And what I can do, actually, I can actually delete these constraints. And we won't go into that now, but, uh, but we can delete those constraints. 
Okay. We can also see them. So if we if we right click in an empty area, we can go uh, uh, show all constraints and notice that now we see all the constraints. All right. Okay. Uh, next thing we're going to do here is we're going to do fillet. Okay, so the fillet just means to make curves on um, on um, corners. So notice that I can go in and I can click all these corners. Let's say I want to just round off certain corners on the on the drawing, and the um, the uh, radius. You know, I'm I'm just choosing a radius here, uh, 0.25. We could do 0.5 if we wanted. Okay. Whoops, flat. Control Z. A lot of times flood is too much. So <laughs> there we go. Flat, we're going to click on a corner and we get kind of this, this rounded off corner uh, going here. Okay, so that is the fillet tool. Um, sorry, the fillet tool. I always forget that. I looked it up last time. It's fillet or fillet, you tell me in the comments. You can correct me down there. All right, so, okay, so fillet, um, we can also do this down arrow on fillet and we can get chamfer. Okay, chamfer is basically fillet. It's just that we're just, just kind of squaring off the corner, right? So so if you see there, like uh, basically we're taking the corner and we're making a diagonal cut across the corner. Think of it as like cutting off the corners, right? Okay, we can also do things like rotate, all right? So if we take this rotate and I go ahead and select this, um, we can essentially notice in these selection dialogs how we have two arrows. Basically, both of those arrows have to have to um, uh, be white, right? So I can rotate, and I get my happy text rotated around there. Okay. I can also move. Now in 2D, basically what we can do is we can go ahead and we can select, right? Oops. So I can select what I want to move. Let's say I want to move the shape, right? And I can select the base point. Okay, and that will move that part of the shape, right? These these can be a little bit tough to, to learn, um, but you know it is it is pretty good to use. All right, so I can also mirror things. So let's say that I want to um, now this is the center section right here. So I can go ahead and mirror. Uh, we'll actually get back to this later. So this so that was the kind of the um, the advanced drawing portion of this. Um, kind of some other options, right? Okay, uh, good luck.